Hey guys, Ryu Karat here. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Um, in the last part, we did most of the things we needed to do in Rusty Bucket Bay, and then it occurred to me, hey, I never entered the blue eggs cheat, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, let's see here. I don't know if Cheeto mentioned what it does exactly, but if he didn't, wait, crap. I. I think I need to hit the E twice on this? I'm not really sure. Okay, yeah. Because, like, I I wasn't sure if it was going to be... Um, thing is, I wasn't sure if it was going to be, like, normal, like, blue eggs. B-L-U-E-E-G-G-S. Or if it was going to be dumb, like Reggie Ice. Because, like... Reggie Ice! The name has always bothered me because because it's clearly supposed to be reggie ice with reggie rock and reggie steel but the way it's spelled it just looks like reg ice i don't know it's just a thing that's always bothered me anyways i guess i'll see you outside rusty bucket bay okay here i am outside rusty bucket bay and if you'll recall the witch switch for this level um the witch switch for this level uh, put a jiggy way, way up top. And I, I this is something I always really liked about this game. I, do, I don't have the running shoes. Wow, these running shoes are mean, actually! Like, they make the dumbest sound in the world. Like, and that was the worst impression of that sound in the world. But... They're like, HA! You can't use us yet! Fuck you! Like, and... And, um... The shoestrings come up, like... Like, curved in such a way that it looks like a middle finger as it's saying, FUCK YOU! Because... Because this is Conker's Bad Fur Day, actually. This is the dark... The edgy rare game. Definitely. Alright, but with that, we have opened up Rusty Bucket Bay. The sixth one. Wait, is this World 6? Yeah, this is World 6. Rusty Bucket Bay. World 6! And, um... I don't know, I, I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy saying World 6 over and over, but in case the game didn't give a clear indication, uh, Rusty Bucket Bay is back where, I swear to God, this Let's Play is going... If someone watches in the middle of this Let's Play, and they don't know why I'm calling every level Rusty Bucket Bay, because I'm gonna be... To be honest, I, I, I'm the guy making the Let's Play, and I'm not even sure why I'm calling every level Rusty Bucket Bay at this point. But nonetheless, um... Someone's gonna watch in the middle of this Let's Play and be wondering, why is he calling every level Rusty Bucket Bay? Does Can he not read? Is he dumb? Am I dumb? God, I hope I'm not actually dumb. You'll find one more move in here, Banjo! And by one more move, he doesn't mean that... Oh, hey, there's one more move in this level. Uh, he actually means this is the very last new move in the game. I remember playing uh, the Xbox version for the first time, which was my first time playing through the game, doing an actual playthrough of the game since I was four, and I got to this level, and um, he told me how it was how um, it was well, he didn't outright, I don't think he outright says it's the last move in the game. He says well, now that I'm rambling, I really need to figure out where the thing is, because it's apparently not where I thought it was. But... Actually, I know where it is. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um... I, I, got, I was so disappointed to find that, uh... Like, it was the last move of the game. I guess I didn't have a right to be disappointed, because I already knew what all the moves in the game were gonna be, but... I mean, even to this day, when I play a game like this, where there's new moves scattered throughout the game, I, I get so excited to unlock them as I play, even if I've played the game a million times. But, let's see here, does it? Yeah. Well played, Banjo, you've now learned all the moves in the game, which means that I no longer have to do this voice in this Let's Play ever! 
door! Well, to be fair, I guess I did- OH GOD! I guess I didn't need to do that voice in the first place, but... I mean... Hey, what can- what can you do? Sometimes, you just make a dumb voice, and then it just sticks. Kinda like every voice I do. Every voice I ever do, um... Ev is- is dumb. It's dumb. Alright, but now that- Wow! Your best note score for this world is now two! I feel so accomplished with that! Oh my god, everyone shower with- Shower me with kisses! Shower me with awards! Shower me with sex! Shower me with whatever it is you have to offer to shower me with! Um... Shower me with... I- I don't know at this point, but... Shower me with things because I got two notes in Rusty Bucket Bay. Man, I don't- th I'm gonna be honest, I don't think anyone's ever accomplished that in history. Like, because for those of you who don't know, Rusty Bucket Bay is like the hardest level in history. Like, no one has ever completed Rusty Bucket Bay. Okay, I'm, j I I'm done being dumb. I know I, I know I overplayed that, but still. Wait, actually, what's up here? Now that I think about it, I don't actually know. Oh, it's a mumbo token. So yeah, remember that web of counterintuitive destruction that I destroyed last... Actually, was it last episode? No, no, I think it was the episode before that. Um, but... You don't actually get up to the thing by climbing... By climbing the thing. What you need to do is... No, no, no! I am so sad right now! I am so sad at this moment. Like, wow, I was right there, and then it went poofed. It got, like, the, the flying pad, it got poofed. I stepped on it, my shoes ran out, I got stuck in the animation, and then it got poofed. Curse you, flying pad, and your ability to poof yourself. You know, I, I, I get, I, I know what you're all thinking, poof sound. When you say go, when you say, uh, it poofed itself, it poofed ends up sounding like a sexual term. Like, oh, it's a euphemism for masturbation, but let's be real here. If you take any word that is not a verb and put it in the context of a verb, like put it in a, like in your sentence structure, put it in, put it as a verb, it ends up sounding sexual. Let's be real here. I'm sorry, what? I wasn't paying attention to you, Grunty. I was I was too busy talking about how erotic verbs are. Or how erotic words that aren't verbs are. Because you know the the verb is the word. Oh god! I I forget. Do I get anything for killing this guy? I don't know. Let's find out. I damn it! Apparently, aiming this crap is not as easy as I remember it. I don't think you get anything from killing him, though, so I don't know why I'm wasting my time. But, with that, it's time to re-enter... Wait, 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 wait. I, no, I'm being dumb again. It's not, it is not time to re-enter Rusty Bucket Bay. It's actually time to re-enter Rusty Bucket Bay, because there's still one more Jiggy we that we couldn't get before, but can now, thanks to... Thanks to having the running shoes. So yeah, if you'll recall... No. If you will recall, I will not give you an egg. Um, if you'll recall, Boggy reappears after saying that he'll... He needs to challenge someone his own size. Which is dumb, because let's be real here. Banjo versus the walrus. What is his own size? I'll give you a hint. It's not the one that's the same species as him. So yeah, as I was saying before, you cannot do this without the running shoes. 
Like, he is too fast. And, and, it, and don't take my word for it. Just look at this. I am... I am only slightly faster than him, and I have the running shoes. And also, you want to be careful as you do this, because sometimes he's just a straight-up dick and pushes you off. And that's just bad times all around. But, I mean, I, I, I can't really say I have much to say about this at this point. I already did this once. We've gone over the fact that he rubber bands. We've gone over the fact that he pushes you off the cliff. We've gone over the fact that, oh my god, he's catching up. Screw you, rubber banding. Oh my god, he's beating me. Uh, oh my- Oh my god, I'm stuck! No! I must win! I can't lose! I must be the undefeated champion of Freeze Easy Peak! Come on, come on, come on, yes! I did it. I won the race and saved the world. Dude, I, dude, I have you beaten as a racer and a person. I already did that. Cause you know everyone wants some random adult stranger to deliver their kids Christmas presents. Cause you know Santa Claus and all that. What pedophiles? No, 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 no. That that's not a thing. But. Now we are officially 100% done with Rusty Bucket Bay, and it is time to go back to Rusty Bucket Bay. Although, to be honest, I'm kind of coming up on time. By the time I get there, I will be up on time. So, um, I guess in the next part to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we're going to start Rusty Bucket Bay World 6 for realsies. See you then. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more, click any of the buttons to be taken to the next episode, the playlist, or three of my other LPs.